So what's going on? I just have another video to share with all of you on how to copy your iTunes media library or your iTunes music to a USB flash drive or an external hard drive. This is going to allow you guys to transfer, copy, cut, paste, or back up and save your iTunes music library to one of those drives, whichever one you're using. Now, for this video, I'm using a Windows 10 computer. If you're running Windows Vista or Windows 7 or Windows 8, that's fine too. This should work the same for you. The first thing you want to do, guys, is go ahead and open up iTunes and then at the top left corner there's a little drop down you can select that come down and choose preferences and then once you get general preferences open scroll across the top and choose advanced this right here is going to show us our exact directory of where our itunes music is being stored or itunes media basically mine is on the d drive yours is probably on your c drive so all we need to do guys is browse to that location to get our music so I'm going to go, your icon up here might say my computer, mine says this PC, it depends on what operating system you have. Um, many of you will probably be able to also get there by going into your user account and then going down and finding your music folder. So you're, ba you're bar browsing to this location here. So I'm going to go ahead and go on this PC, I'm going to come down and find my D drive as it says over there of where my music is, which is right here is my D drive. I'm going to go into the next part of it, which is music. And then the next part of it there says iTunes. So I'm going to go into that. And then iTunes media is what a lot of you will see in here. Now, mine says music because I think Windows 10 changed it and put this little music symbol there. So if I click that, I can go in and see all my music. So what this is going to do is show you guys how to manually do this to get all these files off there. Now, if you let me move this up, I want to show you guys. If I right click on my music and go to properties, this populates in here exactly how much music I have. 120 gigs is a lot of music. So I'm not going to be able to copy this entire folder over to a flash drive. I only have a 64 gig flash drive. But let me close out of this and move, minimize iTunes there. I'll bring this folder over and I'm going to plug in my flash drive. Okay, I already have it plugged in. Let me go ahead and go in, go in here and find it. Now down here under devices and drives it says backup. It says removable disk. If I click that it should be blank because this here is it's only a 64 gig flash drive. So I can show you what happens if I right click on the music folder. Let me do that again. If I right click on that and choose properties you can see that like I said there's 120 gig of music in my folder which is a lot. And let me just back up if I right click on the backup drive and go to properties, you can see I only have 59.6 gigs available. So I'm going to show you what's going to happen. Let me go in there to my backup drive. If I was to right click on that and choose copy, and then I come over here and right click and choose paste, it's going to come up and tell me there's not enough space on my backup. So I need an additional 63.7 gigs to do this. So make sure you guys have a large enough external drive you're backing up to here. And that's all you really need to do is right click on that, choose copy, come back over to this folder. You can actually select paste at the top or just right click and choose paste. And that will copy all your files over to your backup drive or your USB flash drive. In this case, I need uh, at least 128 gig flash drive probably. So if I double click and go into my music and say I just want to get a couple of these folders, you know, I can select, hold down the shift key on my keyboard and click what folders I want. Say I just want to get these ones, I can right click then anywhere here on these areas that are highlighted blue and choose copy. And then I can come over here and right click and left click paste and it's just copying them over. It actually leaves them here but creates a copy. So there's one way of doing it. Again, I'm unable to copy my whole directory. So that's all you really need to do. You know, if you want to get them off here, just right click, choose delete. You can, you can actually come over here, hold the left click mouse down and keep it held down and drag this over and make a copy. And that'll populate right there. So it's pretty easy to transfer your files from your PC over to your backup drive. The only problem you guys might run into is trying to find your iTunes music. So that's all you need to do usually, or sometimes some of you will go into your C drive here, go into users, go into your user account, and in here you will find your music folder. So there's different ways to get to it, but if I bring iTunes back up, the most important thing is 
is that you are able to browse to this directory where all your music is. So guys, if you need to wipe out your computer, you're going to sell your computer, whatever you might be doing, that is how you can copy and transfer your files over to a backup drive. And it looks like it's time for me to get an upgrade on my flash drive. So thanks a lot, guys, for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please like it. Please share it. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.